Hey guys, it's Tina and Shuen here. Hi. Today I'm just kind of hanging out with her, having lunch. If you guys don't know her, she is actually a host on Click Network. She has her own series called Tried and Tested. I feel like it's very similar to like Tina, Tina tries, tries it. it. <laughs> like, like you try like lots of beauty and gadgets, food as well. Yes. I've actually seen some of like those noodles, those steamboat. That oh was God, really cool. That's so good. Yeah, that was really cool. So today I thought because I'm in Singapore. Shuen would be like the best person to kind of guide me around the popular foods in Singapore. I'll try my best, only because I'm Singaporean, <laughs> but I'm not really like a food expert. Disclaimer, yeah, food. disclaimer, she's not a food expert. <laughs> so I'm really like hungry and yes. excited. Mm -hmm. And also, later after this, make sure you head to Click Network because we filmed a really funny video. <laughs> a really, really funny video where we did the, the, the wheel, wheel besides my makeup challenge. Yeah, full so, of surprises. So shall we get started? Yes, please, I'm starving. Okay, do we start with hot food first? Yeah, how about this? Because this is like breakfast. Okay, breakfast. Right? Okay, so this is a very traditional Singaporean breakfast. It's uh, half-boiled eggs. Yeah, so I've seen this. Okay, so in Australia, when, when we order eggs, people yeah. usually ask, like, scrambled, or do you like it poached? So this is not quite poached. <laughs> Semi raw, if you know what I mean. I feel like this is yeah. this is what like bodybuilders drink. Yeah. So you season this according to what you like. So do not put in the whole packet. You just okay. put in like a little bit, and then you see you taste. Because like once it's too much, then you you can't go back. I normally have my eggs scrambled, guys. FYI. So <laughs> does it weird you out? It does. Like, oh. I'm like, oh, did, did they were they in a rush? Did the kitchen like? not cook the egg. Can I just say, people are very particular about their eggs, right? So you have to boil it at a certain temperature to get it at the right consistency. Yeah. If it's too hard, it's some people get very upset. Oh. If it's too runny, then they're like, no, not safe. Is it safe now? I'm just this like, is okay. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so you mix it go up. go and mix it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. You know what? It's not too bad. Yeah? It's, it's not like, too bad. It's like really nice and creamy. It's creamy. Mm. That's what I can describe it. It's really creamy. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not not too bad. I think because the dark soy sauce, it just kind of mm. takes over a little bit. So this. Okay. So this is uh, kaya toast. So inside there is butter and there is kaya, which is kind of like a coconut jam. It's like the, some people call it like a bit of a curd. So it's like coconut and sugar and pandan. So definitely and... not a healthy breakfast. No. Shall we cheers? Cheers. It's sweet. Mm. It's coconutty. I like it. Yeah? Oh, nice. It's dessert. It's not breakfast. It's dessert. So good. Okay, then you can dip it into the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta just try it, right? right? Okay, I've really submerged mine in there. Need okay. I think that's better. Yeah? Because it's sweet after. And like some people will dip it in their coffee. I dip my cookies and biscuits mm. and stuff, mm -hmm. but not my sandwich. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, mm. guys, this is not decoration. It's actually a bag mm -hmm. filled with. There's one coffee and this one's like a dessert. Actually, this one's not really a dessert. It's, it's not a, a dessert. Drink. No. Okay, so when I came here, I thought it was really interesting that all my like grab drivers had this hanging on their like. I don't steering. know, steering wheel, yeah. like on the side. I mean, in Australia, you have like a, a normal styrofoam like coffee cup or like a paper one. But here, people have their coffees in bags. Yeah, it's right? so convenient. Hey, it kind of tastes like Vietnamese yes, coffee. Yes, a little bit. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really good. Okay, so this is Bandung. So I thought this was a dessert. Okay, so this is another drink. Yes. What is it strawberry flavoured? It's like rose syrup with condensed milk. So is that all the syrup? Yeah, so you gotta you're gonna have to mix all of that because otherwise oh. it's gonna be so sweet. Okay. It tastes like must sticks. Hmm? Do you know what you guys might know what must sticks are? They they're just like these pink candy. Okay, so let's okay. move on. I feel like this this is <gasps> Kwe Chap! Okay, so Kwe Chap is okay, the Kwe is like this rice noodle. The kwe in kwe chap refers to this. Okay. Right? It's like it's a just flat... like a thick rice yes. noodle. Yes. Okay. Very flat rice noodle. And chap is kind of like the gravy or the sauce. Okay, so this, these are um, pig intestines. <laughs> if they don't clean it properly, the smell is very off-putting. But <laughs> They don't clean it properly. Because it's like all the intestines and stuff. Right, because right? you know, 
what's in intestines, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so maybe I'll... Maybe you start with the clay first. Easy with the clay first. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll... Ken. See, this is the thing. Ken. Yeah. I feel like I'm slowly <laughs> saying that now. Yeah. And then... Like when someone says la, I'm like, yeah, okay, la. You're becoming Singaporean. That's very Singaporean. Like, what's what's another sort of slang? Okay, let me think. Shook, shook, shook. Shook, shook, shook. It's like the food is good, it's like shook. Oh, it's so shook. Yeah. And there's another one, I remember. <laughs> if it's too, like, rich. Yeah. Gelat. Oh, gelat. 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 Yes, very gelat. Okay. <laughs> Is that the same broth as that? No. Because I feel like... Let me think. Let me try it. I don't think so. It has like, I don't know, an intestine <laughs> flavour to it. Which, it tastes really oily to me. <laughs> like oily and a bit gamey. But, or, yeah, yeah, I think it's more like, it's more gamey. Yeah. I f because I'm, I'm not a big fan of lamb and it kind of has oh. this, um, like a smell or a taste. Like, you know, yes, do you know what I mean? I know what you I mean. I feel like that reminds me of lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You almost want to say it's like smelly, but it's not really like smelly, smelly, but... Like, I feel like my breath is smelling now, but <laughs> so they looks like different bits. Yes. In so it. there's like uh, pig skin, and oh. then you have the intestines, and uh, okay, I'm, honestly, I'm really not sure which part. Okay, is let's what. just see. I mean, <laughs> that's definitely an intestine. That's, an intestine. that's definitely yeah. an intestine. I think the more I bite to it, the the, the more, more the, the aroma comes, comes out. <laughs> <The> aroma. <laughs> I definitely needed a lot of chili sauce with that. I think we've got to move on. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is very much like a breakfast food. I love that it comes in a little bag. So this is what we call chikwe. It's like a rice cake? Yeah, it's like a rice cake and it's like rice and rice flour, water and some other types of starch and then they steam it and then what they do is they put this thing on top which is a preserved radish they, we call it chai po. Okay. this is like okay try it try it i, I love it. Like, chai so po that's, is amazing that's... and that's the chili that you put on top okay so maybe yeah. i'll pop some on top yeah so you get a good mix of everything yeah okay that's really good good right it's really f light and fluffy it's not really mm. like a dense Sort of rice cake, which yeah. I thought it would be. Yeah, this is mm. a very popular breakfast thing. I yeah. actually quite like this one. Oh, but it's chilly. Oh, <laughs> it is creeping up on me. Have some more. It's I might like, have like this, yeah, this stuff is so good. I might have like another bite, and then <laughs> we can move on to then the we'll next. Move on the next one. Let's open this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is oyster omelette. It's got oysters in it and eggs and also like starch to kind of like put everything to together. To make it like a little bit thicker. Yes. Now, when you think oysters, you think really expensive, but I've, I've just been told this is like, what, $4? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe? like for a small, yeah. like five, That's the thing. It's just so, food's just so cheap here. <laughs> it's crazy cheap and I'm like, oh, I want to eat everything. <laughs> so is this fishy? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Do you like fish? I mean, I don't mind it. I just never had my, like a fishy omelette. <laughs> I think maybe I prefer the bit without the oyster. <laughs> <laughs> I like my oysters just raw. Maybe that's why I don't. I'm not a big fan of like the cooked. Okay. I think we shall move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. So our other thing here is another bag dish. This is the dish that I thought was really really odd mm -hmm. because there's two types of noodles in this. Okay. So normally, I mean, with Vietnamese food or most yeah. foods, it's just kind of like. One type of noodle. Right. So with this, it's gonna gross you out, but I feel like it reminds me of after you wash the dishes and all like the gunk <laughs> in the sink. That's what it looks like, and I hate touching it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like everything's like just gathering and yeah, it's just odd to me. You know, it's a good thing that we got the dry hokkien mee because there's also the wet hokkien mee, and it's just covered in gravy. That will look a lot like what you just described. <laughs> all right, so you try. Okay. Yeah. Rice okay. noodles and egg noodles mixed together. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's so funny that you say that. I never registered it that way. Like, I always knew that there were two different types of noodles, but I never went like, that's weird. Hmm, I like it. Mm -hmm. So again, this is like four, four dollars ish. Mm. I know in like, in Australia, I think the cheapest meal you probably could find is like ten dollars or maybe like nine or eight dollars mm. and food here is like super cheap because the currency is 
like pretty much the same. And it's very interesting because it's like for the hawkers, a lot of them are finding it hard to get people to take over for the next generation because it's, it's really hard work. But like it's hard to raise your prices. Mm -hmm. Because people are so used to having hawker food at this price, but like the hours are so long and it's just so much like sweat all day. You I know? guess it's not like a glamorous job, like yeah. in a Michelin star restaurant kind of chef kind of job. Yeah. So yeah. if you guys are in Singapore, you have to support the hawker centers. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't, you, you'd have to, you'd want to anyway, because it's yeah. so good there. But for some people, it's really like, if it gets more expensive, it's difficult for them as well. Right. So it's like, oh my god. Okay, next we shall have... So we've done that. Salted egg yolk. Okay, Yeah. this one. You need to explain why Singaporeans are obsessed with salted egg. I think it's like a recent thing. Well, not super recent, like a few years ago. Suddenly it just exploded. And they started with salt salted egg on everything. Which I'm not complaining about because I love salted egg. I mean, I like it too, but I mean, yeah. in, in Australia, we never really had this. So I love it because it's like it's like a bit umami, right? It's like it's salty, it's sweet, and it's got like a really nice texture. And, and it's... this is fish skin. Yes. So this is just interesting because I feel like it's just it's full of flavor. Yeah. And I feel like you can eat it with rice. Is that just me? <laughs> but I mean, it's you just could. Like, 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 yeah. If you, broke if you it just up like broke it up and mixed it mm. in. You like this? I like this, I like this. So more snacks. Maybe, oh wait, this one. Okay, so this is like a corn snack. It's like, a, it's a very common childhood snack. I mean, I ate this when I was growing up. And you still eat it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like corn. Hmm. It's one of those snacks So once you try one, you kind of just eat the whole packet. Hmm. Like the texture is so strange, right? I don't know, I find the texture strange. Like a bit foamy almost, like yeah, foamy. like styrofoam, <laughs> like almost like very light styrofoam. Mm. This is like a tapioca, and they coat it in like chili and garlic. Oh, it's all like stuck together. Yeah, it's sweet and it's spicy. Okay, and it's garlicky. And... I yeah. like this one. Approve. I really like this one. I think because it reminds me of like um, a snack called banjang dom and it's like rice paper and mm -hmm. they like cut it up into strips and it has a similar flavour to this but they put like lime in, dried shrimps and mm. chilli and they kind of toss it up and then it kind of becomes like this sort of a texture. Okay, so now we move on to like the sweet stuff, okay? So this is a uh, like this a wafer. This is so colourful. Yeah, isn't it? Like kids love this because it's so pretty. Pick a colour. I think I'm going to go for yellow because my nails are yellow. Oh, okay. Does it smell like durian or is it just me? I don't no, know. No, I'm very Maybe it's just I'm me. I'm pretty sure it's not. Eh. But I know what you mean. But it's not durian flavored. Well, I like it. Oh, good for the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why it's like really fun for kids. Mm. Okay, so and then we've got. Yes, last one. Palm seed. Atapchi. Atapchi. Mm. It's like a seed of like a type of palm. Oh, it's hard. Mm. It's not jelly. Oh no, it is jelly. Mm, well, it's like a bit jelly-like. Okay. I definitely wouldn't eat it like that by by itself. I yeah. think it needs like some shaped ice or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so you have your ice kacang. Ice kacang is like shaved ice and then they put colours. You have like red beans, you have jelly, you mm. have all kinds of things and they throw in atapchi. So, like uh, when I was younger, like when we went out, so my sister and I, like there's like Two or three adapti, and mm. then they'll be like searching them. Oh, so, so everyone's on the hunt for this. Yes, because this is like the prize thing in oh. the ice kacang. <laughs> in Vietnam, we have jie, which is kind of like the same thing, but we always have it in like a cup or a bowl, but not really like. Oh, I guess it could be with like yeah. shaved ice. I think it's like similar. It's like you know, for the music, the halo halo. Halo halo, yeah. Right, I think like all the ice with like some kind of milk and stuff inside. Maybe it's just a very Asian dessert. Yeah. Okay, well I guess that's it to this like yeah. mukbang video. <laughs> I know it's not normally like a beauty video, but something different. I just thought it's just nice to hang out and chill yes. with Shuan. Thank yes. you so much for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. Make sure you check out Click Network and see the video that we filmed together. It is hilarious. <laughs> FYI, there is a frog appearing in it. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna reveal. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you click subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram, you know you want to. At Tina underscore Yong. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.
Bye. Bye-bye.